What's up guys? How's it going? Rocking the Zombie 3 t-shirt that I got from Severn very recently from the Severn sale that they had and talking about movies as per usual. None from Severn today though. <clears throat> today it's going to be Shadow in the Clouds starring Chloe Grace Moretz. Uh, this premiered at the Toronto International Film Festival as one of their midnight screenings. Um, which is basically their horror kind of <laughs> nights that they have. And one that I missed, of course, at the 2009 Film Festival, and one that I only heard about in 2020, kind of the beginning of, sorry, the beginning of this year, so beginning of 2021, because it only got international release kind of at the end of 2020. And um, I heard about it on YouTube, and I was really excited for it, and I tried to look for it, but it didn't end up coming... Uh, released on Blu-ray until very recently, apparently. And I saw it at the store, picked it up. Uh, it wasn't too cheap. I paid like $30 for this, Canadian dollars. And uh, doesn't come with any special features, which is kind of a piss off, and I didn't even realize that until I got home. But really wanted to watch the film and uh, got my opportunity to. And it was good. It's very quick. Uh, it's only like an hour and... I mean, the movie itself is literally like an hour and 15, an hour and 16 minutes outside of the credits. So it's very, very quick. It's in and out. Um, it does what it needs to do. It does what it intends to do with no apology. And then it, uh, and then it goes and it starts like right at the beginning, right to the end as well. Um, it's kind of an action horror. Um, it's a creature feature. It's a monster movie. And it's about... A young woman in 1943 that is uh, flying out from New Zealand. She's um, blanking on her position, but she's basically a pilot of some kind. And she's assigned on a mission to board this ship. This, not the ship, this um, plane, sorry. Um, in order to transport a very, very, very top secret, uh, confidential, secure package. Kind of like a box thing uh, overseas. And uh, nobody knows who she is, and uh, she has her papers and everything, but nobody was expecting this girl, especially a woman, boarding this plane full of men who are on their own mission. And uh, <clears throat> there's a lot of trust issues. Um, this film gets very claustrophobic, which I didn't expect it to. Obviously, I knew it was going to be taking on a plane, but I was going into it more that it was going to be action forward and maybe more open space, like you know, plane battles and stuff like that. Like, you were going to get more atmosphere of the skies and stuff like that. No. Um, she's pretty much put in the Sperry, they call it, which is basically the turret that they use to shoot up other planes at the bottom of the plane. So it's basically the, the most sub part of the plane. And it's literally like a box. And she's put in there and uh, locked in there and eventually she tries to get out. She tries to open the door and the, she breaks the handle so she's pretty much stuck in there. So the film for the first part of it does get very claustrophobic in that way. Um, also, <laughs> the biggest thing, and I knew this going in again, is that you're going to have to suspend your disbelief. Um, but multiply that by 11. Um, nothing is realistic in this film. This is literally like a cartoon roller coaster of a film. Nothing's gonna make sense. Nothing is logically accurate. Um, I was expecting this to be just, um, plain, like, like, action porn kind of thing. There is a dramatic story to it. There is a twist that goes on. There's things that happen in a dramatic sense, so it does take its breaks from the horror and the action, which I completely forgot to mention the, the creature feature part of this film. A monster comes. Um, so this film throws a lot at you. And uh, the creature is basically like a bat. It looks like a bat, literally. It's kind of a human-sized bat. And she sees it on the wing while she's in this uh, Sperry. And uh, she tries to inform everybody on the plane, but no one believes her. She thinks she's hallucinating. They already don't trust her from the beginning. Everybody's wondering what the hell this box is. And meanwhile, the plane's being attacked by this bat, which uh, can also release a smaller bat <laughs> that it keeps in its uh, pouch or whatever, however, like the, the child bat or whatever you want to call it. So, um, 
it creates havoc. It's, but like I said, it makes the movie fun and it, uh, it adds to the craziness of the whole spectacle kind of thing. Now as for the dramatic part, it was okay. It wasn't bad or anything, but the movie would have been the same without it kind of thing. It doesn't add any, any stars or points to the film. It's just kind of there to help the film progress. But you're really there to see Chloe Grace Moretz be a badass chick and uh, just see what kind of action spectacle it is. And I do recommend seeing the film. I probably recommend streaming it somewhere if you can find it or, uh, I mean, you going out and buying it for sure. But I would definitely wait for the price to drop. I mean, 26 Canadian dollars is pretty high um, for not getting any features. That's what disappointed me the most is not getting any features. But I got the slipcover, so that's good enough. Looks uh, fancy schmancy on my shelf. So um, that's about it for spoiler free. Um, I'm not going to make this a spoiler review, but uh, I will mention one thing that is kind of spoiler ish. So if you want to cut out from here, go right ahead. But I'm just going to mention one thing. This adds to the you have to like suspend your disbelief completely. I'm just going to say that there's a scene where an explosion saves Chloe Grace Moretz, uh, who plays Maud Garrett in the film, from falling to her death. Okay, I'm going to repeat that. An explosion with fire saves Chloe Grace Moretz's character Maud, Gra Maud Garrett's life from falling to her death. It's that kind of movie. Like, falls and then explodes and then... Whoosh, Boom, right onto the plane. No scratch. <laughs> I'm like, it's that kind of movie. Okay. Strapping in. This is what I'm going to get for the last 35 minutes. But anyway, Shadow in the Cloud. It's really good. It's, uh, it's a nice little small time surprise that kind of came out of nowhere. It's one of those. Came absolutely out of nowhere. Comes in fast. Leaves fast. And it's enjoyable, so I recommend it. Subscribe to Morgan Film Fan if you like to listen to my voice or if you like my film reviews, and I'll be back for more soon. So take care until then. Cheers.